Welcome to the 2020 Virtual Veterans Day Parade. My name is Mike Hennessy. And I'm Susan Hennessy. I would like to introduce Angela Tirado to sing our national anthem. Oh, say, can you see by the dawn's early light what so proudly we hailed at the twilight's last gleaming? There's a lot of discussion on our committee about the white flags. Now, on a battlefield, Obviously, a white flag indicates surrender, but not the case in a memorial. It, it's more about innocence, peace, virtue, that type of thing. So that's why we have the white flags. Um, we also view a memorial like the San Jose Memorial as a sac as sacred ground, a place where veterans can come and contemplate, their families and friends can, can uh, rediscover their sacrifices, um, make sense out of what they have done, being away from their family. Some of the veterans uh, never came home. Veterans Day is a way to say thank you. I didn't used to pay attention to Veterans Day, ignored it, until after my son graduated from high school and joined the Marines. He was part of the initial invasion of Iraq in 2003. I get it. I thank all those who have served our military, who have provided our freedoms, and that allows me to stand right here and speak to you. Thank you very much for your service. Now one moment I found very touching during the parade was when the paralyzed veterans were going down the parade lap, uh, route in their uh, wheelchairs. The crowd got really silent, but the, the applause, the clapping got really loud. And um, many of the people uh, even uh, thanked them personally. And I, I found that to be very touching as they gave a, a really big sacrifice for this country. And a group we should all give recognition to, Paralyzed Veterans of America, Bay Area and Western Chapters. The Paralyzed Veterans of America, Bay Area and Western Chapters, dedicated to the task of improving the quality of life of veterans with paralysis due to spinal cord dysfunction and to the protection of their civil rights. They're committed to the duty of assisting paralyzed veterans of advocating for unfettered access to veteran VA health care and barrier-free access to the community. And believe it or not, almost every high school in Santa Cruz County had a band of that size. That was some time ago, though. And I was one of them. <laughs> Going over all the footage of last year's parade, there's a lot of exciting moments because we really had we had the best seat in the house. Oh, we did. <laughs> I mean, everything coming down. We have Estelle, the camera, the whole crew, the whole bit, and we had everybody coming toward us. And there's some pieces that were just really remarkable to Susan and I. And and there happens to be there's a good friend of mine. You remember who that is? Ed Archer. Ed Archer, and there was from the from the group called the Doughboys. And you're going to hear the story in the clip that Estelle's going to run from last year. Check that out. That's really a pretty neat piece. Welcome home, Doughboys. A couple reasons why they might have had the name Doughboys. Red Cross, Red Cross made them a lot of donuts that year. They thought it was be teased from that. Then, of course, it came from sloshing in the mud. They're not really sure exactly how the Doughboys came together. A good friend of mine, Ed Archer, is there in the middle. And, of course, a good car guy. There's a Greg Greenwood from the U.S. Navy. And, of course, there is Greg Tendy, if I said his name right. Now, if you notice that the Pierce Arrow has nobody in it, reason for that is because anybody from that era are not here anymore. And that's what, the, that's what it represents. The ladies in the Model T represent the Women's Motor Corps. Marjorie Lento, Cindy Gregg, Karen Archer, and Asia de Cordova. <laughs> 